guys, I forgot to start my video this morning, but welcome back to Vlogmas day number 12. Today I am, I just got off work and now I'm going to go babysit. And so I will talk to you after I babysit. This vlog might be up super late tonight and I apologize for that. Hey guys, so today is my day. Let's see what I get. A little hot cocoa kiss. So that's what I got on my advent calendar today. Guys, so the people I babysit for gave me a Christmas present, which I think is super sweet, and that just melts my heart and makes me so happy. So let's see what I got. Oh, I got a candle from Bath and Body Works. Ooh, it smells super good. And I also got this little kit right here of beauty products. So super happy with that. So thank you guys so much. I love my gifts. So that's a little early Christmas present for you guys. I'll probably still add it in what I got for Christmas, but I wanted to put that in there for you. Watching some YouTube guys <clears throat> while I edit my video, just thought I'd put this clip in. And of course, the wax melter is going too. And I'm also eating my dinner because <laughs> I didn't have time to eat my dinner um, between work and babysitting because pretty much when I got home from work I had to throw on throw on some different clothes get my work clothes off and go babysitting so I didn't have time really to eat dinner <laughs> so now I have to eat it super late which, su which sucks but I will be up for a couple hours so my food will have time to digest before I fall asleep but that is what I'm currently doing <laughs> Okay guys, so I thought I would tell you a Christmas story time. <clears throat> so, I am gonna be telling you one from my childhood. It involves my best friend and me. So, when we were young, um, I remember like we wanted to have a sleepover so bad. When on Christmas for some reason and I'm still best friends with her to this day we've been best friends since we're five um and I remember we finally convinced our parents to let us and so <laughs> we had our Christmas sleepover at her house and um I remember how magical it was like we literally sat up and we were literally like listening for Santa, you know, and I don't know what it was. We were probably like dozing off at this point, but I remember her and I both looking at each other and we're like, I hear sleigh bells. <laughs> and honestly, you know, it was probably just kind of in our heads, you know, we were sleepy and stuff, but we're like, I hear sleigh bells. And we're like, and then we kind of like thought we heard a thud on the roof and so we're like, oh gosh, we better go to sleep because Santa's here. We don't want him to get caught. We don't want him to get caught awake. Um, <laughs> but I'll never forget that and um, how fun it was. And then there was also another time where this was probably around Christmas. I can't exactly remember, but it wasn't Christmas. Um, she spent the night at my house and... It snowed overnight <laughs> and it was pretty bad enough that um, we kind of got snowed into my house so she ended up staying another day <laughs> so we actually got a two night sleepover because her parents gonna pick her up and we couldn't take her home so that was really fun and it was just kind of like magical with the snow you know and we, we went to go play out in the snow together and we had hot chocolate we came back inside and we sat by our, our fireplace because we had a fireplace in the house i grew up in and 
I miss that fireplace, but it was just, it was just so magical and so fun. Those are like two of my favorite Christmas moments. And also another favorite Christmas story of mine is, this happens every year. Um, so on Christmas, we always go to my grandparents' house, but we call them Oma and Opa, which are German for grandma and grandpa. Um, so we go to my Oma and Opa's house every like usually it's morning but as we've gotten older it's kind of more um uh, mid-morning early afternoon um and I just love that every year my grandpa sits around with all of his kids and grandkids and great-grandkids sometimes that are there um and just reads the Christmas story um, in the Bible, and it just, I love that, like, as I was younger, I didn't appreciate it as much, but as I've gotten older, I really do, and <laughs> I just will never forget that, and especially as, you know, my grandpa's getting sicker, um, it's definitely one thing I do cherish, um, a lot, um, but yeah, I really love that memory. Um, you know, I'll always have that in my head. I can literally close my eyes and just imagine Christmas morning at their house. Um, it's just a thing we've always done. And I just think it's such a cool tradition. And I know I really want to carry it on for my kids one day. Um, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, to make this vlog a little more interesting since I didn't get a lot of footage today. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed those story times. If you guys want more in depth of any of those story times, just let me know. Comment down below and I can do that. Those were just kind of like the short version of them. Like the ones with my best friend, I could even have her in the video and we could both talk about it from both of our perspectives of the story. So, if you guys are interested in something like that, totally let me know. I'd be totally willing to do that. Thank you guys so much for vlo watching Vlogmas day number 12. I can't believe it's day number 12 already. Um, I appreciate you guys all so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And I'm again, I'm so sorry this video is gonna go up so late tonight, but I didn't get home until one o'clock in the morning for babysitting. And you know, even it, even after the kids go to bed, it's kind of hard to still um, edit because I want to be able to hear, you know, if they need me or something. Um, but I just love you guys so much, and I want you guys to know that. And if you ever need anything, don't be afraid to reach out to me. My Instagram and my Twitter are always down below. They're always open to anybody who needs anything. You know, I am love to talk to you. So please don't hesitate to reach out. And don't forget that you are loved. You are beautiful. And you are enough. I don't care what this world tells you. You are enough. Just the way you are. Don't ever change for this world or for anybody. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day number 13.